Okay, so when you're doing your straight razor part, you can put a little bit of product in it and kind of smooth this over so that it'll lay down for you um, your disconnection on the top so it's not in the way. And then you really want to take your uh, folding comb and you don't have, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I prefer it because it makes it a lot more precise. But when you take your folding comb and you actually make your line and you make it just perfect then you're going to get a better result so then you just brush all this out of the way now obviously we've already done a straight razor part here so it's already got our part going on but if they didn't have one you would want to take your folding comb and make your part and kind of section it out of the way we've come outside so you can see this a little better in the sunlight so it's um real visible for you to see. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to change your razor blade every time you do this it's a little more expensive but you want to because you need to control cross contamination you want to start with maybe like a, a leave-in or um a paste any kind of texturizing spray or product all right, so we want all this hair combed over here and pushed out of the way. We want to push all this hair down. I do it with my fingers because I don't want to mess with When you hair. normally use your um, razor, you rock it. But we're not rocking with this somewhat, but not really, because you're, um, if, if we rock it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us a, a big wide area. We just want to kind of just tap, 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 tap. It's all about the tapping. It's tap, tap, tap. Okay, so we come up here to the first, and you want to start with your, your um, guideline. So you make it where we've got our part is where we want to start first, and then we'll make our shape coming down. So we want to start with our part first, and you've got to think the middle of your blade is where it's going to cut the most. This is not, this is not. So you want to focus on the middle of your blade because um, you don't want to be rocking down into the hair, and you don't want to be rocking down into the hair this way with your heel or your toe. So you're just kind of laying the hair down flat, setting it down flat to the head because if it's not flat to the head it will cut them so lay it down flat to the head and just do a little bit of tap 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 it takes a minute but all the hair starts moving out of the way and you start getting a nice little part going on right here like i said you got you're focusing on the middle right here this is as far as I want my part to come back. So I'm only bringing my heel back here because if you, do, if you try to do the middle back here, your part's gonna come all the way back here. So you don't wanna bring your heel back any further than you want your part to come, but we're focusing on this part. And as we come down, we're making it wider and wider and wider and just keep it straight with their scalp. Now as you come up here, you're gonna take these little pieces off okay so while i'm tapping i'm resting i'm resting this part of my finger on his head okay to steady my finger so i don't cut him or anything All right, tap 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 we're tapping you just want to keep tapping you're lightly resting this on his head i am not forcing any pressure at all because if you force pressure we're going down into the skin and we don't want to do that we're just holding down Okay, now you can see that we've got our straight razor part. Um, if you want to, sometimes these are a little too bushy right here. So you can take your uh, trimmers and kind of trim these down a little bit. Actually, your clippers, use your clippers. Take your clippers and trim this down a little bit um, so that you can even it out, make it a little more noticeable. Just depends on the client, how noticeable they want it.